Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2016 and episode 40 of The Journeyman. Feels absolutely crazy to say that. I think this is the second longest um, series on my channel, just behind the Everton Project on 52, so we won't be uh, too far off that in the, in the near future. But uh, yeah, today we have the La Liga match against FC Barcelona. So... Uh, before we get into things, let's have a look at the transfers since the last episode, um, of which I don't think there is any. Uh, I really don't think there is. I think we'd sign this guy, Ivan Moyano, um, before the last episode. So let's have a look at the last few matches since the last episode, which was that awful 1-0 defeat against Tenerife. And as you can see... The defeat's a bit like bookends, uh, the start of the season and the most recent match. So we uh, bounce back with a 5-0 victory against uh, Rio Valenza Valenzano uh, with Andre Silva getting a hat-trick and uh, Chema Herrera getting two. We then beat Elche, Elche 4-1 with Andre Silva getting another hat-trick and Serge Marin getting a goal. We then drew 1-1 in opening Champions League match against uh, PSV Eindhoven uh, with uh, Andre Silva getting the goal there. We then won 1-0 against Celta de, Ve Celta de Vigo with uh, Voland getting the goal there. We then won 3-0 against Almeria with Serge Marin getting a hat-trick. 6-1 against Deportivo Alves, Alves with uh, Serge Marin getting 4 Andre Silva scoring and Nunnally also on the score sheet. And then we drew 1-1 against Bayern Munich in the Champions League with Dadachov getting our only goal. And most recently we got beat 2-1 off a Sevilla with Serge Marin getting our only goal there. So what does that mean for the La Liga table? Well, we are in a disappointing fifth place at the minute. 15 points, already 7 behind Atletico Madrid at the top. What about the Champions League? Well, we are in third position at the moment, still all to play for. We've got to play PSV at home. We've got to play Shakhtar Donetsk home and away. So hopefully we can pick up some points from those matches. Squad performances. Top goal scorer is, of course, Sir, well, it's actually Serge Marin with nine goals. I thought Andre Silva with two hat-tricks to open the season would be up there, but eight goals for him. And then it goes all the way down to Herrera with two, so not not many goals in this team at the moment. Top assists is Nunnally with four, but unfortunately he's injured uh, for the moment. Uh, three for Kevin Volland, uh, and two each for Ben Yard and Silva. So, without further ado, let's have a look at the team for today. Then we've got Van Dijk in goal, we've got Mayano, Mustafi, Junior, and Gaia in defence. We've also got Volland, Henderson, Oliveira. Uh, and Benyard in midfield and we've got Silva and Serge Marin up front so hopefully we can get a good result against uh, Barcelona today and uh, we can, you know, get back on track for winning the league. They're playing a very, very narrow formation today so it'll be interesting to see uh, how we cope with that. Let's get into things. Come on Valencia. Let's get a win for episode 40. Into the box. No no chance there. I don't think we've had a win in a live comp for, for quite a while. Uh, obviously we had the first win in the Valencia save, so uh, that's one. But I think before that we may have had a bit of a dry spell. But I can't be sure. Now here's Ben Yard now into the middle and... Well, Marin puts in the back of the net. Top goal scorer of the season. That's his 10th, and after three minutes, we're already 1-0 ahead. Very good start for us here. And uh, I've realised that we actually won in the episode before. Um, episode 38 as well, because we won the TIM Cup, didn't we, with AC Milan. So I'm obviously just talking rubbish. Here's Jimeno. Oh, good tackle. Here's Andre Silva to Marin. Now Oliver. Now Silva. A good save. Benyard hits the post. But a good positive start from here, uh, from us here. And uh, it would be a good victory if we could beat Barcelona. We've had a decent home record so far. Andre Silva. And it's in. Marin 2-0. He is an absolute animal. The new Jamie Vardy, I would say. Serge Marin. Very, very good. 
Uh, he scored lots of goals last last year, and uh, he's already started this season as he means to go on. He has Ben Yard now. Nope. Sergio, nothing happened. Oh, is that a penalty? Yes, it is. So Serge Marin can get his hat trick here. Be the third of the season for him, I think. Yes, 3 0 against Barcelona within 20 minutes. Who would have predicted this? Certainly not me. He's a very good penalty taker as well, Serge Marin. And uh, he's going to be a big, big star of the future. I don't think he's very old, is he? Let's have a look. Oh, it would do that, wouldn't it? He has, here he is, Henderson, Mayano, and nope, nothing happened there. He is 23 years old, so he's got a huge future ahead of him. Maybe a good nine years of, uh, of football at the top level. And it'll be interesting to see if we're still at Valencia in nine years. I hope we're not. But you never know. I enjoy this project uh, that much. I want to stay here, but he has Ben Yard. Now Volland. Andre Silva, Marin off the post. And Suarez got away. Ben Yard into the middle and Volland good save by Tushtegen and um, Neymar on the ball now Suarez and not the one that you were thinking of it's not Luis Suarez I don't think he still plays for uh, Barcelona well we we'll might check him out at the end of the episode if I remember um, but I'm thinking this might come out when me Uncharted's Save is out, hopefully. Uh, save. The Uncharted series is out, so if you guys are interested in Uncharted, obviously go check that out. Um, that's if it's up. I mean, it might not be. I might just sound stupid. Volland. No. Um, yeah, so go check it out. <laughs> if it's there. <laughs> if not, don't listen. What a goal that is by Maximilio Miliano Romero. Pedrinho there. Good ball through. Suspicions of offside there, but a good goal nonetheless, so probably deserves it. We'll make a quick substitution. Junior not having the greatest game. Let's bring on Dylan Martins. In the middle, he has Volland. No. Barcelona getting back into this game here. But he has Volland. No. Fred. Suarez, and that was Luis Suarez, so he is still playing. Volland. No. Block. Oh, good, good. Here's Marin. Andre Silva has been a bit anom anonymous this game. Let's uh, bring him off for Dardachov. He's been asking for a bit more football. We'll give Montez a go. I haven't played him much this season. So we'll give him a run out. And uh, looking at that, there seems to be a lot of regens, I think. I don't think many of them are real players. And that's 3-2 now. Maximiliano Romero getting the second goal. And there was more suspicions of offside there, so I think somebody's been bribing the refs. Here's Marin now. Moyano, Volland, and Marin off the bar. Oh dear, Romero, good save, good save, that's a goal kick, in the middle, Mustafi, oh I don't know what he was doing there, Montez, now Romero, we when he, when need to close him down and Oliver has the right idea there, <clears throat> but I don't think this year we're going to win the title unfortunately, I think we're just a little bit too inconsistent at the moment. And obviously with Atletico and Real and Barca, they, they seem to win all the games. Um, when Omarin gets his fourth, uh, they seem to win all the games when we slip up. So um, you know, that's unfortunate. But Serge Marin, if he keeps scoring goals, we've got every chance of winning it. Um but obviously we've lost two two games. Obviously Sevilla is an understandable one, but we shouldn't have lost against Tenerife at the start of the season. 
Piers Henderson, Moyano. And full time 4 2 against a Barcelona. That is a wonderful performance from us there. Uh, a little bit shaky defensively towards the end, but overall, I think that's a very good performance. A bit of a one man performance by Serge and Marin. Let's just look at this guy. I mean, his stats are very, very good, but they're not, you know, brilliant. What's his penalty taking? 16. I don't think he's ever missed a penalty. Um, below that, 8 games, 13 goals. And in La Liga, 6 games, 13 goals. So that is an amazing record so far. But he's scored goals all throughout his career. 24 million, a bit of a pinch. I wish I'd seen him when I was at AC Milan. Because maybe he could have led us to title glory. But there we go. He's one appearance from making 50 appearances. And we're going to pay 7 million. That's not going to do the finances any good. We are well in the black now. Obviously when we came we were massively in debt. But let's have a look at the projection. We are projected to go massively in the debt. But hopefully if we can have a good performance in the Champions League. We can improve that situation. So, when am I going to come back? That is the question. Um, I'll see. There's a few big games coming up. But, we'll come back in January against Atletico Madrid, the current leaders of La Liga. It'll be interesting to see if they're still leading then. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like down below if you did. You don't have to, of course, but mean lot for me and for the channel. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.